Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to go over a little bit more advanced Mixamo. I mentioned in my last tutorial when I did the rigging from Mixamo to Cinema 4D that I'll do merging multiple animations together. It's very easy. So grab your seatbelts and let's go for this ride. And to get started, you know my scene is always starting with my cube and my figure. So I am going to keep my plane for various reasons. It's to give a ground plane you know, for characters, so it don't look like they're floating in midair. To get started, what you'd have to do is come over to Merge Project. Now, a lot of people don't know that uh, you can do multiple, actually. So if I grab the shooting pistol, and I also want to grab the prone to crouch transition, and we're going to hit Open. Uh, by default, usually everything is really good here. And we should get two messages back to back and that will let us know that both animations are coming over correctly. So you wanna hit no here, that's our first message. And you wanna hit no again, that's our second message. And right here, you see two animations came over. The tricky part is everything is named exactly the same thing. So it is easy to get mixed up during this procedure. But in order to help that procedure, first of all, let's get rid of the camera. We don't need that. I have my own. And I probably won't even use it just for tutorial purposes. But if I come over here and zoom in, both animations are there. Nice. Look at Nova looking all heroic. So if I come here, this seems to be the crouch. And this seems to be the prone. So if you highlight the character and hit and also hit the joints or the bones, you then hit Alt and G. That's the shortcut to put them into a null. And we can rename this one Crouch. And then do the same for this one. And grab the joints or the bones and hit Alt G. And we'll name this one uh, Prone. All right, so hopefully that should help us a little bit. Keep track of things. Now, once we come in here, and grab our hips. I'm going to go ahead over to animate and then I'm going to go ahead and add a motion clip. By default, everything is correct here. Um, the only time you would change something in here is right here. Remove included animations from original objects and that's if you are doing a T pose transition at the beginning. I did mention in my other tutorial that it's always wise to save out T poses and that's the reason why. If you want to transition from a T pose, and the reason why you would transition from a T pose is if you're doing cloth or clothing on a character. You want to give a few extra frames at the beginning of a still T pose so that the cloth can simulate onto the body correctly. And then you could transition from that T pose into your animation. And that's why it's important to export a T pose. And that will be the only reason why you would take this off if you do start off at a T pose. Otherwise, everything looks good by default. I'm going to hit OK. Now we're going to come over to this one and grab the hips. Same thing, animate. And we are going to add motion clip. Everything's good by default because they both are needing the animation. So it looks like the prone one is the bottom one. To give yourself a little space, you could adjust it over here. I like to you know, shrink it down a little bit and then you use the hand tool to pan it over. And then if you notice here, this has 123 frames and this has 73. So total, if I add these together, it's going to be right around 190 ish. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a default 200 frames. And as you can see here, our frame slid all the way over to give us hopefully enough space if we were to merge these together. Now, the main thing you want to do is delete the one you want to trans transition into. So that would be this one here. So if you delete that, you can then grab the animation here, slide it into the same row. That's very important. I remember at one point I used to take this and put it on the row above and try to slide it over. It does not have the correct effect if you do it that way. So just keep that in mind. Now I grab this one and I slide it over. See right here how they overlapped? That right there should give us the animation that we're looking for if everything went well. So right now, the crouch one, let's see if we could make that invisible. 
and we're on zero frame and we're just going to hit play. Let's see what we get. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So she goes prone and it transitions into her turnaround and shooting. That is a beautiful animation. Look at that. Yeah, cycle around her real quick. Have an orbit shot. Just picture some kind of a matrix effect there or something. Boom, she turns around, shoots, turns back around. So prone, she stands up, transitions, shoot, shoot, then turns back around. Wow, she shoots three times. So sorry for whoever's on the other end of that. Maybe one day we could finish that animation and add the laser. Leave it down in the comments if you would like to see that. And maybe we can make a little short. But yeah, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, there is a method if everything is not lining up correctly. Just so happened, this one is. So it's a good, quick tutorial. Let's see if I have an example. Uh, let's come here. I have a project that's already open. And I believe this one, she's panting, it looks like. Oh, look at her feet. It just went down through the floor, didn't it? Ah, that's not good. So in order to, to fix that, let's go over to the animation that is actually messing up, which I believe is the second animation. We're going to highlight the clip over in the timeline, and we're going to hit Create Pivot. The pivot is already highlighted, and sometimes it gets a little cluttered where you can't see it, but that's okay. But if you hit Play, you can actually move it around while it's playing. So we do know that we want her not going through the floor. You can already see that she's above the floor already. So let's see how this looks. All right, she has a little slide to her. So let's see what happens if I do that. That looks a little better. And all we did was add a pivot. And we moved that pivot. She's still going through the floor a little bit. So let's see if we can raise that. You get the idea, you know, this is just a tutorial and this is showing how to fix it. Um, you can sit here all day and play with the parameters until you get 100% perfect. Just wanted to show you what you can do if things don't line up correctly. And that is to add a pivot. And that's about it. You add it to the clip that's actually doing what you don't want it to do. Let's see. Fix it a tiny bit. There we go. That's looking a little better. But as you can see, you know, the more you mess with it, you could get it fine tuned. Oh, that looks really good right there. And like I said, all we did was added a pivot. Uh, as you can see, things don't go 100% perfect. As soon as you do it, it's almost like riding a bike. You fall, but once you fall, you get back up. That's the main thing. So that is how you actually transition multiple animations together in Cinema 4D 2024. If you want to see the next part of it, of her actually shooting in this animation, leave a comment down below. Until next time, please like and subscribe. You know, if you want to see more content like this, support us. Please give us a thumbs up. And until next time, happy animating and think outside the box.